Hey there, fellow builders. I am so happy you guys are learning so much from these no mod shop classes. From the feedback, at least, that's what appears to be happening, and that is awesome. If I had known this mini series was going to be such a hit, I would have done it sooner. <laughs> but uh, better late than never, right? So this video is just going to be a quick little follow-up video to the video I posted yesterday about the new neon lighting colors you can create in your settlements without the use of mods. Today, I'm going to show you some creative uses of the neon options to create some interesting symbols. You probably won't use them everywhere, but they can add some fun little accents to your buildings or for labeling rooms and stuff. Might even give you some ideas for some new rooms or buildings or, you know, you can add your logo to your settlements and stuff. The possibilities are vast. It's also an excuse for me to show you how to create the orbital signs that you guys saw in my Vault 42 build, which I'll do last. So let's head over to a little wall, a little demo wall. It's like my concrete chalkboard. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just really briefly go through these symbols and then uh, give you guys some extra tips and stuff, okay? So all of these are created, of course, like I said, without mods, without any glitching, without any, any weird stuff. It just using the techniques that I showed you in the last video where you can place neon on top of other neon letters and also, you know, creative uses of combining colors and stuff. So up here we have the dollar sign which you can use either with or without these uh, apostrophes that I added to the top and the bottom. Here we have the scent sign, you know? If you want to create a little lemonade stand and say like lemonade 50 cents or whatever. Here we have the Euro sign, or as close as I could come to it. It actually looks, it's not bad. It's not bad for an improvisation. And once again, if you can't tell, you know, these are the hyphens, this is like the letter I on top of the letter C. This right here would be the Yuan. And then over here, we have two different uh, crosses I made, you know, at least Christian crosses. If you wanted to create a little church or something like that. Over here, we have the anarchy symbol. Uh, I don't know what some of these others are, but you know, I thought I'd make some creative stuff and just show you guys some options here. I don't know what this is, like the upside down Mercedes symbol or something. Got a couple of happy face options right here. And then just some other symbols, which really have no meaning, but might look kind of cool, you know, if you wanted to figure out other creative things that you can do with them. Uh, this last one here, I was trying to go for, for a yin yang sign, but didn't turn out quite the way I wanted, but it still looks kind of neat. And then up here, you can do things with like sports logos. Like I live in LA, so this would be the Dodgers. This is interesting right here. You know, I, I made this in case you wanted to add a men's and women's bathroom signs, and these actually are offset. So we have, uh, you know, like green on top of blue, but it's just offset enough to create a little bit of a drop shadow, you know, a neon drop shadow. Same with uh, the women's. And then we have another version of, of a little peopleoid. Got a downward arrow that I made from a V, a Y, and then an I that I just superimposed on each other. If you can't figure these out, I'm sure, you know, I don't want to go through every one and tell you what they are, you know, like for example, that's the zero and a hyphen instead of the O, and that's an X and a Z. This I thought was kind of neat. It's like a little cocktail glass that you could add to a bar. And then we have the Olympic symbol as well as the UN symbol and then an arrow up sign. And then this right here, I wanted to add some light boxes to show you that neon can actually be placed on top of light boxes. So you might be able to figure out some creative things that you can do with these. Um, I probably could have taken a lot of these symbols and put them on light boxes, but this is kind of an interesting way to give you a background color as well. And then uh, this over here is to serve two purposes. Uh, the first purpose is to show you can actually create walls of light patterns, you know, using different neon things. You know, I, it might have looked better actually with the eights, strung eights all the way down of different colors. It might have looked like uh, neon beads, like a neon bead curtain. As a matter of fact, I think if you figure out a way to suspend the neon, like I'm gonna show that actually later on in the course, cause that's what I did with the info sign uh, on the second floor of Vault 42. But uh, if you can figure it out before I get there, then you might be able to create a bead curtain and then you can actually walk through the neon without it uh, actually imposing you. But really the other thing was, is that I just wanted to uh, show you that 
The secondary colors, when you combine those, I mentioned in yesterday's video that if you combine secondary colors, at least with physical, you know, opaque objects like paint, for example, you'll get brown. But with neon, since it's illuminated, you won't get brown, but you'll get something that's, you know, just, it's just not a very exciting color. So I just wanted to prove to you that those don't really make particularly exciting colors. So we'll take like orange, for example, and superimpose it onto green and you get, you know, just a, a slightly brighter orange. Um, this can also be achieved just by, this is amber. This can be achieved by just combining orange and yellow. And then if you add purple on top of that, oh, and that's why I added these X's here to, so that you can lock them into place. So we'll take that and, oh, now they're grouped, great. <laughs> yeah, let's try it this way. Okay, so when you combine those, really I think just the top two colors are gonna combine. But uh, anyway, I was gonna do it for the rest of these, but you guys get the idea. Okay, so I'm gonna um, clear these off real quick and then I'm gonna show you how to build that orbital sign from Vault 42. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start off with the open sign. Place that down first. And that's going to create the blue curves that you're going to want to show through underneath your sign. But in order to block out the open, what you're going to do is head down to decorations, up to display, and then over to weapon racks. And then you're going to use the longer weapon rack, and you're just going to place it right over the neon right there. See? can't see through that. So let's go ahead and add some letters to that. Okay, so you get the idea there. And, you know, you can put whatever you want here, but it gives it a nice uh, little accent. And this is what I use for all the section labeling in uh, the Grand Museum of the Commonwealth. <laughs> so it turned out uh, pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to clear this off for another reason. This is the easy way to do it. Just store the whole block there and it'll store all the clamped items as well. Okay, and that way I can have this wall blank for a specific reason. And that reason is to see what kind of creative stuff you guys might come up with. If you think of any new symbol combinations, let us know in the After School Club, which in case you're new to the channel is the nickname for the comments section down below. So anything that's really creative, I'll throw up on the wall here and give you credit in a future follow-up video in the mini series. Now there might not be room for everyone's suggestions, so the comments with the most likes will get priority. Also, just make suggestions with what Bethesda gives us, you know, no mods or glitching techniques. There are ways to uh, clip the lettering, but I first want to post the pillar glitch video, you know, the deep dive into the pillar glitch. So all that stuff will be something I'll cover later on in the Blue Square Black Diamond lessons. For now, just work with what we got. And you know, there's no way I thought of everything here. So let us know what else might work. That would be very cool. Also, there's still time to get your name on the School Zone two year anniversary cake. If you don't know what I mean by that, then check out the end of my VidCon video. I'll leave links in the description in the iCard above. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this lesson. I'll have some more great stuff coming at you this week, so subscribe and hit that bell to get notified when these videos drop. Make sure to throw a like on the video if this helped you out. Keep on sharing those videos with your friend and on the socials and all that. See you back here soon for the next lesson. In the meantime, happy building. Class dismissed.